Now, as you can see, the steering wheel is slightly to the left of centre, which means that the uh, I've only changed the uh, the ball joints on the uh, on the drag link, so uh, that has only got one ball joint on, and the other end is fixed, as I'll show you in a minute. So I've got to extend it, so that is screw out the thread, uh, and I'll show you that in just a second. I'll get underneath and I'll name the parts, and then you'll. What I'm going to do now is just name some parts. I know every, most people know them, but uh, not everybody. Uh, th that's the, this is the drag link at the front here. That's the drag link. It's fixed at this end. It's got a clamp uh, so you can unscrew it. And it's got a clamp at this end so that, that, that holds on to the thread. Now I've changed this. And I've obviously I'm miscounted on the, on the thread. And by extending this, screwing it out, it will change the steering. The steering was straight ahead before, so uh, I've just got to, uh, I'll, I'll do it two turns, put it all back together and check what that is. But this is the drag link. Behind it, that one is the panard rod. And right at the back there, you can see that the, the, that's the track, lo track, track rod end there. The, the, that's the track rod. A link a ball joint sorry on on each end so that is the track rod panard rod and this is the drag link fixed at one end uh, left hand drive of course it's fixed on obviously Land Rover you've got one there and for left hand drive but this is a right hand thread on this so I've got a screw it's back wheels chocked jacked up, wheels clear of the ground, now ready to take off the nuts at the end. That's the clamp slackened off with 11mm and the, the uh, bottom of the swivel 19mm. That's been torqued up, just slackened that off, take that off, I, I want to take that right off now so that is slack. Now I'll give it a a knock with a ball pain hammer that should just come off if not then you have to use the, the split. Right I've uh, done that two complete turns uh, I'll now jack it down roll it backwards and forwards and then check the steering is, is straight. Uh, two complete turns. So I've just road tested it it's uh, taken it out on the road it's nice and straight now that was two complete turns from I think you remember it was about there. Two complete turns brought it back, so there's a fair indication of uh, how much I must have miscounted when I put the uh, tracker end on. All that remains now then is to tighten up the clamp here with 11 mil and the 90. That is already tightened up. Uh, I, I didn't put the split pin in. I was only just going up and down the road. Now I can put a brand new split pin. Don't use the old one. A new split pin uh, everything now is right should have got it right first time really but hope this has helped